Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The video which you have seen is of Rustam 2 or Tapas BH201. The video has been released today morning by DRDO which is from the recent test flight conducted for the male UAV. This is quite an important development for Rustam 2 program as it has proven two critical technologies which includes ATOL or autonomous takeoff and landing and the integration of UAV's flight system with indigenous Gagan satellite. Gagan is an acronym of GPS aided GEO Augmented Navigation. It's India's own space based augmentation system developed jointly by ISRO and AAI to provide the best possible navigation services over Indian FIR or Flight Information Region with the capability of expanding to neighboring FIRs. It is a system of satellites and ground stations that provide GPS signal correction, giving better positional accuracy. We have recently seen quite a few developments and the new images of Rustam 1 now renamed as Archer and Rustam 2 or Tapas BS201 drones. While the development of indigenous drone has been moving at a snail's pace but has picked up momentum this year. Till date we have seen three versions of UAV which are Rustam 2, Rustam H and now Tapas BS201. If we talk about the technological advancement in the latest Tapas BS201 it includes automatic takeoff and landing and satellite communication mode which we have just saw in the beginning of the video. It is expected to offer an endurance of 24 hours and flight altitude of 30,000 feet and as of October 2020 it has demonstrated an endurance of 8 hours and maximum flight ceiling of 16,000 feet. DRDO's CVRD has also developed an indigenous 180 horsepower diesel turboprop engine for Rustam 2 and we can see it being used in the recent pictures of it. CVRD is also working on a powerful engine that can deliver 220 horsepower at a service ceiling of 15,000 feet which will further boost the payload capacity of the drone. At present, Tapas can carry payload of around 350 kgs but with the integration of new powerful engines, its payload capacity can be around 700 to 1000 kgs. Theoretically, Tapas should be able to carry 8 anti-tank guided missiles as well. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.